All right, we got another Timu mailbag delivery. Stick around, let's see what we got. All right, so now that my heart is beating again, because trust me, it stopped. Completely stopped. I keeled over. I was dead and gone. Because, let's see, an hour ago, I was told my channel was fraudulent and spam and just all kind of ugly bad stuff and that it had been removed anyway but uh, some kind of some kind of glitch in their fix system i mean in my, if i had to guess i would figure that a new ai program was launched to sort through channels to identify anything and so and flag it in some form or fashion and something went wrong Anyway, look, uh, that's not why you're here, if you're still here. I apologize if, if I've run you off, but, you know, of course you didn't hear that. But anyway, so let's get back to it. Let's get to this. So, oh, and this, oh, awesome. I, I didn't expect that to come in. So, a long-winded way of saying, this right here is an RFID uh, reader writer, okay? Which, uh, if you're, like, hotel cards... Uh, little key fobs, uh, other things like that. They're all RFID. I don't fully understand the RFID kind of setup, but I believe it's kind of like where you take a cell phone and you put it on top of a pad and proximity charges a cell phone. So I think the same principle is used where the base unit, when the card comes close to it, the, mag the electrical field actually supplies the voltage to power up the RFID chip, which gives the signal as to what or how it is. And then you've got hotel locks, doors and stuff use the same thing. So in addition to that, your smart cards, your, your credit cards, your bank cards are smart cards. And so supposedly, I think, I've got another one coming. It may be in this, this list of stuff. But I hope to show how that kind of works and, and how you could be vulnerable uh, to some kind of attack or it, and how important it is if you do lose any kind of uh, smart card that you possess, how important it is to immediately get it shut down and how dangerous that can be. But this is one of them. Uh, it, it, you'll see it on, if you go on Timo, you'll see this uh, little device and, and that's what it is. And it comes, uh, I think... I'm not opening this up until I do a review, but I think it's like 10 cards and 10 little key files. One, two, three, four, five. So it might be five and five. I don't know. And there may be more in here. I don't know. But so that's one thing. And, and it's a NFC smart card reader writer. So that is one thing that will be coming up soon in a, in a review. Uh, someone did a video on lapel mics in a price range of 150 I think, up to $500. And I think one, and I couldn't tell a difference by listening to them and not really know, but uh, I'm hoping that I can uh, give you a decent com comparison so you can decide uh, what you want to, what you want to do. Uh, if, if the zeal sound is sufficient, which I really like the audio from it. And the, uh, I think this is, what's called the X5. And the, no, these are X6. And this is the X5M, which actually it only showed is X5. Uh, Fulame, Fulame, I, I'm, I don't know. I, that's probably not right. But, uh, this is a upcoming uh, video here. Now, the one thing that I really like, if these turn out to be good, is the the Zeal Sound and the D6 that I'm using now do not have internal uh, memory to record, but this is supposed to have internal memory to record. So, video coming up on this with a review. This big old bag takes up the whole the whole thing 
Um, and this should be video equipment to um, connect my uh, smaller little GoPro like cameras to show the the uh, programmable power supply, the um, the digital multimeter oscilloscope, and uh, um, sa uh, signal generator to kind of show those, you know, the faces on those while I'm, I'm doing something on electronics here. And I also got a handheld O1 uh, uh, oscilloscope that will also be kind of pulled into these videos to, to show stuff from time to time. Uh, so this right here should be camera mounting gear and stuff like that, I think, but let's find out. <laughs> yeah, and another soldering iron. So... Apparently the give giveaway wasn't an issue. I thought that's what the problem was. Uh, so we got another soldering iron to give away. And uh, made in China. Okay, these are little. These are cool. It's just a uh, bracket with a camera thread, which I think is uh, quarter twenty and a hot shoe style mount to be able to mount um, the cameras and any other accessories and such to that. Um, let's put that off to the side. And I know I'm never smooth or uh, coordinated and definitely I do not write some kind of a script to do this right uh, but I mean if if you get tired of just the, the real raw me just you know showing it as it goes just tell me and I, I will write a script so that I can be a little more fluid in uh, what we're we're talking about here but just let me know uh i, I just and i know I'm, I'm doing a lot of reviews and a lot of uh, you know delivery stuff right now uh just some more uh hot shoe mounts um again i didn't think i ordered that many so a lot of hot shoe mounts must have been free for sure so, anyway, that's a bunch of hot shoe mounts. Uh, don't know what this is. This is a very fancy looking hot shoe mount. Okay, I can see a whole deal going on, just like the last bag with the uh, resin. <laughs> I, I, I somehow had a problem there, and I think I may have another one. I don't know what this is. Oh, this is a GoPro adapter. I'll tell you what. I wish I had realized that. Because it would be nice to have more aluminum. All this stuff's aluminum. All these mounts are aluminum. Um, yeah, and yeah, I can promise you if I paid anything for them, it wasn't very much. Um, so cool. i got to look these up and see. Because aluminum GoPro mounts, are, I think, would be a pretty cool cool deal to have some more of. Well, then I did. I got another GoPro mount, aluminum. And please excuse me, I'm still kind of a little bit discombobulated and flustered over the the whole banned and deleted thing with YouTube. Uh, again, I mean, I don't hold them accountable. I, I'm not. I'm not saying anything negative about YouTube, and I'm not just saying that because I don't want it to happen again. I'm just um, hot shoe mount and so a good camera. Well, cell phone camera. All all of my stuff has to be cell phones camera stuff because I don't have a a real camera to do videos with. So I apologize for that too, but. But anyway, I, like I said, I don't hold it against uh, YouTube or I'm not being ugly or whatever. I'm just, I'm, but I'm hoping I can recover the videos 
that were deleted and confirmed that I can uh, upload them again without any trouble. Um, and that's that's the thing that people just they want to blame a com company because of something but they don't ever think about the liability issues and everything that a company faces on a daily basis and, and it's what governs those those liabilities well I got three of these awesome I, I think um, but they don't they don't think about the liabilities that that have forced those policies to be in place and and again I'd like you know I say that companies make mistakes too it happens it just tends to affect more people but it, it is what it is okay hold on <laughs> We'll talk about this one in a second. So it uh, tends to affect more people as it is. I'm just extremely relieved that my channel is not deleted. I've had it since as far back as I can remember. And, and I, I think I started in YouTube, I don't know, maybe when YouTube started. I mean, it was back in the, the 2000s, I think. And I, I actually had no concept that there was a thing called a channel. And when I found out, I created a channel, and that's where I uploaded a few videos and didn't know what I was doing, couldn't figure it out. It was too hard to get videos up. Video editing software was too expensive, and so I just kind of gave up on all that and forgot about those videos and leaving the channel, too. And so it's just been kind of sitting there for a long time, and then a while back, I tried to do some stuff about a year ago, and, I mean, it limited response. Kind of like now, I mean, I, I, very few people, you know, look at the stuff that I'm doing, but I'm hoping that, that if anybody at all watches the stuff I'm doing and get something out of it, that they would let me know because uh, if, if one, if I, I, I sincerely stick to this, if one person benefits from what I do and that's the only person that benefits, then I'm grateful for having done it because that one person matters as much as a million people as well um and and people want to forget about that nowadays on youtube that it's all about the the majority of the people the the huge numbers of people doing things um uh, and and the individual kind of gets forgotten about and so uh everybody matters to me so this all right this is I have no idea I know what it says it does and I don't know how it works out but this is a clicker so I've seen them and then finally they dropped the price to my level which is like dirt cheap literally dirt cheap uh, and so what this is supposed to be is like you take these you plug them in here and I don't know if there's a programming process I have no idea but these hook to your cell phone tablet any kind of a touch screen and these click the screen for you so I don't know what you would use this for <laughs> but it was so weird and then they posted it up for practically nothing so it was like well okay I gotta check that out uh, and, and let you guys see it and uh, try to figure out a use for it uh, it'd be useful playing the games on Timu because you got to click the little feed the fish 50 million times and the little feed the coffee tree and the feed the the farm plants a billion times. And so a little clicker to automatically do that for you would be pretty awesome. So let's just take a quick little glance. So that's... I don't know. It feels like a hard something. So I don't know. I'm kind of wondering if that may not be because a lot of stuff, because you didn't have to be very much of a touch to a touch screen. So maybe there's a slight movement to this, maybe a little motor in there, and it does a heat signature and all that good stuff. But anyway, this is going to be a review. We're going to figure out. We're going to figure out something to do with this. Uh, and it may not even be what I'm thinking it is, but that's what they made it seem like. So we're going to try it out. So this is another another review coming up. Uh, I'm, I'm about a stupid stuff, so you ain't got to buy the stupid stuff and figure it out. So how about that? 
we'll make that deal. Uh, so this is it. So <laughs> there it is. And the big old pile of stuff that's coming up to be reviewed. And being as I still have a channel, we'll get it reviewed. It may take a minute, but we'll get there. All right, guys, look, uh, I definitely appreciate you uh, spending your precious time with me because I know how that time is. Uh, you, 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 Whatever you could have been doing or would have been doing, you're here with me. If you're still here, I appreciate it, and I thank you very much. And uh, I, that's it for now. Thank you, and God bless.